Now you are a scientist, uh, not a moral philosopher, so it perhaps is a little unfair to, to ask you, but that is one of the, as you say, one of the predictions that looks likely to, to be moving ever closer, certainly if David Blunkett yep. gets his own way. Do you have a, do you have a view on the, on the sort of personal freedom issues, the civil liberty issues, the nanny state, the big brother network? Because uh, as you describe the world in your new book, Uncommon Sense, there is a, there is a sort of sense of inevitability about this tracking of individuals, almost the surrendering of some individuality at the ultimate of, of mass networking yeah i think it goes like this providing it's under my control right. and not the government's control how, how can you guarantee that well i think that's how about the same sort of question of saying how can you guarantee that the present government doesn't become totally fascist and we go into a 1994 regime uh, the answer is the ballot box. We, the society, actually control the government by our vote, by our ability to campaign. If we once lose that control, then a 2004 state is inevitable. It's happened before. So there is no surety about anything in this life barring death. And taxes. And taxes, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Sorry, that was yeah, weak, not, wasn't ouch, it? Ouch, you remind <laughs> me. But it, it, is, it is a societal thing, and you're quite right. I'm, I'm not a moral philosopher. I look at the technology and I say, well, you know, how are people going to react to this? So let me, there's always an upside and a downside to technology. So here is an upside for a population that is increasingly traveling. Uh, do you want your medical records in your local doctor's surgery, or do you want them in a chip implanted in your body such that you are ill or 